Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here with a second video for today. And this afternoon, we got a huge update to the Quartermaster for Call of Duty World War II. And there's so much change that's gonna be happening here. And honestly, after reading this update, I feel a little bit more interested to get on and play some World War II. Like, I really don't think the game is bad. It's actually pretty good, but there really just isn't much for you to do in the game. But after this update, there's so much content coming and there's gonna be even more ways to earn weapons and loot items in the game. But first things first, before I get into that, there is going to be another event coming for St. Patrick's Day, and it's called Shamrock and Awe. Cod 4 Remastered had an event with the same name last year, and it's coming to World War II tomorrow along with the update, so expect a trailer to showcase some of the new items and weapons and that kind of stuff in the game, so very, very exciting there. But now on to the update. First, they say there is going to be an increase of weapons and premium content per update, and they say we're adding new ranged weapons, more cosmetic weapon variants, and themed uniforms with a commitment to double down on these categories moving forward so you'll be able to get more of the content you want and then next up here they say there's more ways to earn weapons we're offering a variety of paths to obtain the most wanted weapons and weapon variants in game as more will be available via orders and contracts in addition to existing weapon collection and supply job so say if you want a variant for the bar then there's going to be a contract or an order that will let you get that variant for the bar so uh, pretty cool stuff there and again and it does apply to weapons as well and then next up here they say that they've lowered the duplicate rates and they also put in here we are reducing the frequency of duplicates you'll receive within supply drops to deliver more new content in every supply drop so that is really really awesome and then next up here they say that they've rebalanced category reward rates and they say this will ensure you are getting a wide variety of content categories within every supply drop which will make the unboxing experience more satisfying and this is something that we have complained about for you for a while now because uh, I myself personally get like so many duplicate pistol grips and supply drops and it's really not even worth opening supply drops anymore because I've been getting so many duplicates and pistol grips so uh, they are working on rebalancing that so pretty cool stuff there also they say there's new special orders and they put in here we heard your feedback on certain weapons being available only in via common supply drops and how hard they are to get we are moving these items into special orders so they are easier to access pretty cool there and then there's also going to be a new category of items and in the little description they put you will have more ways to customize your soldier and loadout with the introduction of weapon charms camos and reticles so there is going to be more reticles and camos and and uh, weapon charms here that you are going to be able to access in supply drops so i guess it does kind of even out like you're not going to be getting all these amazing variants in your supply drops you will get a reticle a camo or a charm and again it does kind of balance all that out i'm pretty happy with that honestly i would rather have a reticle or you know a camo instead of just a duplicate pistol grip in my supply drop so i'm pretty happy about that and then also here they have removed the gold foil calling card and they won't be adding any more new pistol grips into the loot pool from here on out so that is really really awesome now take into the consideration though that there are like hundreds of pistol grips already in the game but you know the fact that they aren't adding any more is pretty nice so i am pretty happy about that and then lastly here they are adding a new type of supply drop called armory drops and they say this is going to function a lot like bribes but they can be obtained for armory credits so this is just going to be another way players can earn weapons and that kind of stuff but again the only way you can get them is by spending armory credits I really do like this idea a lot though so you can either have the chance of pulling something you want through the bribe or just paying for it directly with the collections but uh, basically that's all the updates that's gonna be happening to the quartermaster tomorrow I really do think these changes are gonna bring a lot more players back and uh, I don't know the, this is just what we've been wanting for for a really long time now uh, some new content and it really does seem like Aaron Halen the new guy is looking to please all of us so guys tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments also drop a like if y'all did enjoy and thank you for watching until next time i'll see you later